What's up guys, it's Ryan and Eric from Tower Reviews and today we're going to be comparing the iPod Touch 3rd generation to the iPod Touch 5th generation in terms of hardware and in terms of how that hardware interacts with the software running on it. So we've got iOS 5.1.1 on the 3rd gen because that's the highest you can update to and you've got uh, iOS 6.0.1 on the 5th gen because that's the highest you can update to at this point. Um, so if we just run through some specs real fast, we've got a resolution of 480 by 320 on the 3rd gen which comes in at 163 pixels per inch and it is not IPS so you can see a large difference in display quality of the two. On the 5th gen we have a resolution of 1136 by 640 at 326 pixels per inch and it's also IPS and a lot more colorful. Um, video truly doesn't do it justice. In person it's a world of difference. It's actually a lot better than even the 4th gen's display. Um, in terms of processors we have the Samsung ARM Cortex 600 megahertz in the iPod Touch 3rd generation with 256 megabytes of RAM. We have the Apple A5 which is clocked in at 800 megahertz, it's dual core, and 512 megabytes of RAM. If we take a look around the devices we'll see that the iPod Touch 3rd generation is very simple, not much to offer. Wi-Fi antenna, power button, volume rocker, 30 pin dock connector, headphone jack, uh, that's about it. If we look at the 5th gen, it's got a lot more to offer. 1.2 megapixel HD front facing camera, uh, lightning connector down at the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, volume rocker, power button, 5 megapixel eyesight camera, microphone, LED flash, Wi Fi antenna, loop button, um, and, you, and the 4 inch display, which I don't know if I actually mentioned the size of it, it's bigger. And it comes in five different colors where the third gen comes in one. That's about it for the hardware differences. Let's go ahead and power them down. Powering down normally doesn't mean anything. It's just the way we get to the powering it's up just test. Just a way, yep. Just a bridge. Okay. Alright, so the 5th gen got a little bit of a head start. I was actually holding the buttons at the same time, so there's just a delay. And here really demonstrates the quality of the 5th uh, gen display. Its blacks are truly black, not blue, as they are on the 5th gen. And the Apple logo is white, not blue. Okay, so the 5th generation was significantly faster. And as you can see, even though the third gen is up and going, it's still not completely ready to go. It's a lot of lag. Um, we have similar amounts of things on here. Um, got some apps and folders, but uh, for the most part, same usage of the 32 gigabytes that these both have. Alright, so we're in the software now. You can see that we've got five rows of icons on the fifth gen. We've got the camera, FaceTime, a lot of apps that the uh, third gen just doesn't offer. So let's do the Geekbench test. So the 5th gen pulled in a score of 624, and again we've got some description of specs and what the benchmarks actually went through to arrive at that number. Alright, so the 3rd gen got a score of 291, about less than half of what the 5th gen got. So there definitely is a significant difference in performance. Go. 
Alright, so the 5th gen was done about 2-3 seconds faster. Fifth gen was done. I always think it's done when it's really not, but it's done now. All right, scrolling is smooth and fluid. Really, no problems whatsoever. Most of the content's loaded. There we go. Not okay, smooth. scrolling's laggy as anything. They're not the same app store because the iPod third generation cannot update to it, but. Um, there you can see that the fifth gen was still faster. Nice visual way to see how the processor works loading up a game. As you can see, the fifth gen is just They're actually pretty close. That's it for this video comparing the fifth gen to the third gen. You can see that there is a large difference that uh, three years between the two products made. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.